mother Tell your children not to walk my way Tell your children not to hear my words What they mean Hello all, and welcome to this video. This hopefully will be the first of many more videos done on a more consistent basis. I'm hoping because I do like coming on here. I do like talking about wrestling. I do like doing all those things. I have a whole crap load of DVDs that I need to review. So I'm probably, probably start tomorrow um, doing some more consistent videos. I'm hoping. I've said that before. We'll see. Uh, things have pretty much calmed down around here now, so I think that won't be too much of a problem. But I, I do want, there's a lot of things I want to talk about still, and uh, this is one of them. So this video will be more of me just going off of some things. Um, I'm often asked, and this has to do with something that come to my attention, but often asked, uh, which new sites do I recommend? Which new sites do I think are good? Which ones do I think are utter garbage? Because as most people know, a lot of the wrestling new sites are some of them are complete garbage. They're run by thirteen year olds, or run by thir or I shouldn't say run by thirteen year olds, but run by thirteen year olds that act like thirteen year olds, or they act, or you know adults that act like thirteen year olds. One of the two. Um, <clears throat> very much attention getters. Very much you know just kind of their own thing. Their little portion of the internet and they don't seem to realize that if you want to have a good successful news site that you have to run it as a new site so um, just off the top of my head I'll run down some that I like and then I will go into what this is really about uh, the ones I always recommend of course I would talk about 411 Mania a lot not just because Jared is now on there moral virus but um, I've pretty much been following that site since it started and um, I like it I've always liked it even when writers came and gone, uh, there's guys that I've liked on there that have left, but um, they've always filled in the gap and they've always been very good. So I like I like that site. That's a site I always recommend. I wouldn't rec um, I'll get into what I don't like about these sites, but there, there's one. Uh, OneWrestling.com. Um, that's a site that's been around for a long time. Uh, not so much of a new site, but more I would say like 411 Mania, uh, more of an opinion site. <clears throat> um, the other one, of course, would be one of the one of the bigger ones would be T, uh, PW Insider, uh, Pop Up Hell, as a lot of people like to call it, but they do break a lot of stories. Um, the Wrestling Torch, <coughs> excuse me, of course, and I'm sure you hear the banging. Uh, fifth one is is the biggie, which is the Wrestling Observer, which isn't much of a site as much as him, as much as uh, Super Dave trying to sell his newsletter, which is very good, by the way, and I would recommend to anybody. But out of those five, um, those are the five I recommend. Each five, ha all of those have their faults, though. For One Mania isn't so much a news site as much as it gathers news from a lot of the more credible news sites and posts it, which is kind of convenient. Um, it's more opinion. It's more um, reviews. Um, it's more, uh, you know, type, type of thing where, you know, I, I like a lot of the reviews on there. I also like a lot of uh, the commentary, that sort of thing. Uh, just that sort of thing. Um, I like that. Always have, always liked them for that reason. The other one, <clears throat> going from there, then we go to OneWrestling.com. OneWrestling.com is pretty plain Jane. But uh, Bob Ryder, who is kind of the lead guy, I would say, not the head guy, but he's the lead guy, is very good, very knowledgeable about the business. And somebody that is worth at least listening to. You don't always agree with him. You're not always going to agree with everybody, but he at least is worth listening to. Um, that site is ran by the same people that used to, <clears throat> that um, for years have you know started, been around the business for a long time. Um, has its roots with uh, Pro Wrestling Illustrated. So there you go. The um, then we get into the biggies. Um, of course, the Pro Wrestling. Uh, Pro Wrestling Insider, Pro Wrestling Insider has been around a long time. It is pop-up hell if you've never been there before. Uh, lots of pop-ups, lots of ads. But they do break a lot of news. So that, that's a good site to check out for that. The uh, Another one would be, of course, Pro Wrestling Torch. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is they're a little elitist. Um, lots of news breaks. Uh, they're, they're pretty much, I would put, on par with the Wrestling Observer, except that... Uh, Super Dave is a little bit better about taking criticism than anybody, I would say, on the Pro Wrestling Torch. If you criticize them on the site or if you write to something that criticizes the site, it's a good possibility. It's not going to be posted on the site, particularly if you uh, 
th this is what, and I'm not saying this just because of me, but this is something that's been going on for a long time, particularly when it comes to Wade Keller, who runs the site. If you criticize Wade Keller about the fact that he's a little, he's got a big raging heart on him going after Vince McMahon full force, like, you know, a freaking, you know, the, the Spanish Inquisition type stuff. Um, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy in some regards, so, uh, I would, that's the one big criticism, um, if you ever criticize him, or you criticize any other big guys that are on the site, uh, that, Caldwell in particular, if you question any of those guys, uh, don't expect to get much of a feedback, um, they don't really care for that. Then you have, of course, Wrestling Observer, the website itself is pretty plain, Jane, there's not much to it, uh, there's a little bit of breaking news. The site's pretty much just there to sell the newsletter. And of course, the newsletter is the newsletter. It is where almost everything that everyone steals any news from, that's where they get it from for the most part. Um, if you don't see, I would say, somebody say got from the Observer, got from uh, P, uh, PW Insider, or got from uh, the uh, PW Torch, um, I wouldn't necessarily believe it necessarily myself, but that's just me. And you have a lot of people out there that do just post crap, and now that's what I'm going to get to because I came across the site thanks to uh, WrestleMaster One. Uh, most of you probably saw the bulletin in which he posted the guy that said that ROH's pay-per-view numbers are in the hundreds. Well, I guess he knows something that no one else in the wrestling world knows because. That has been one of the big topics of, of big topics. The thing that everyone has been trying to figure out for about four months now. No one can. And if he could break it, I would love to see him break it. But this is the same site, for just so you know. Um, if you ever read it, it's, it's pretty much, it's so pro-TNA, it's not even funny. It's to the point where you can't even take them seriously. I read on one of their things, and I hate I hate giving this news site, and the name of the news site is uh, TNA Wrestling, WrestlingNews.com, I hate giving any publicity, but I will, because it's sites like this, I'm using them as an example of it, but uh, very pro TNA to the point where they were like, oh, well, the Texas tour was very successful, I guess, except that, you know, they drew two of those shows, I'm pretty sure drew just about the same amount as Joe drew by himself here in Houston at an indie show that usually draws about 400 people. Yeah, Joe drew about 1,000 people by himself um, last year. So I, I can't exactly call that successful. I'm sorry people can say I'm bashing with TNA, but I can't. And it's stuff like that that they continually uh, put in. They'll say things, <clears throat> not back it up with any sorts of facts, any sorts of information, any sorts of things. I don't care if you say things, but if you're going to say things, Back it up with information. Back it up with facts. And there's a lot of news sites, particularly wrestling news sites, and, th and this is throughout the internet. This goes on. Um, that just do not back up their information. They just post things just to post it. And I think that the, they, some of these people just post it, just hoping that they can post something really crazy, so they get a lot of hits, which is very sad, in my opinion. It, it would be nice if you know these people just go out there post their information, give their facts, give where they got the information from, um, and if they don't, just back up what they're saying to some degree and not come up with this right, just this crazy stuff that people want to post just to prove their point without them turning around and backing up their point. And, you know, and let me tell you something, any site that's going to hire anybody, any new site, I don't care what kind of new site it is, if you're going to hire anyone who got fired from a website due to the fact you did the one thing a journalism cannot, cannot do, cannot do, and you hire them, then that pretty much, in my opinion, destroys all credibility. All credibility, and what I'm talking about is plagiarism. All credibility of any new site you have. And they do. They have a guy, I won't say which guy it is, but they have a guy on that website that apparently was fired from one of the bigger websites due to the fact of plagiarism. And if you read any of this guy's stuff, you can tell that he's still doing it. He's basically just stealing other people's stuff and inserting it into his news articles. So, without giving anybody any credit. And you can't do that. That's just a big no-no, I don't care who you are, type of thing. But, just, you know, what the point of this is, is I wish more of the news sites would just get their act together, would actually be news sites. And, like I said, I listed some that I think everyone should go to. 
That's pretty much it. I'm out.